Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, good evening, my dear students. How are you? Hello. Well, it is a pleasure to see you once again, to listen to you in this nice and windy night. It is a very strange night because it's like windy and hot and humid. It, it, it is like very crazy. It's a very crazy weather. I don't know if it's raining near your houses. No. Yeah. Yes, it's raining. Really? Yeah. Well, here, well, here in the center of San Salvador, it's not raining yet, but it looks like if it's going to rain soon. So yeah. hopefully it gives us time for us to finish the class. That's the only thing that I want <laughs> Be because it looks very hard. It looks very like that it's going to rain really hard. Okay, so we're going to work a little bit on uh, what we were doing yesterday, we're going to finish working on the grammar that we were checking to finish working on the exercises we had. And for sure, we are going to work a bit on leaving everything organized. Tomorrow is a day for classes. Remember, we have classes tomorrow. Don't go and make plans because we have classes tomorrow. Why? Because we have vacation the whole week, right? We have vacation the whole week next week. So it is going to be nice without classes. The problem, yes. it will be because you are not going to practice. Hmm. That is the part <laughs> that I don't like, that you don't practice. <laughs> but I am, I am going to send you there at least an audio or something, I don't know. They're from El Cuco. <laughs> no, I, I don't go. What do you usually do on vacation? We're going to start the class with that question. What do you usually do on vacation? I want to sleep. <laughs> I want to sleep. Is it? Yeah. That's I want that's, to sleep. That's what we all want, right? We all at, want at, to sleep. At 10 a.m. <laughs> you want to Every sleep. Day. Okay, yes. in, in that case, you say, I want to sleep until 10 a.m. Hasta la 10. Until, oh, okay. Until 10, right? I until want to sleep until 10, right? Yes. That you don't and want maybe. to do anything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe I, I, um, I am going to visit my mom. Okay, good. That's my plan too, right? I really plan to visit my mom as well. But that yes. is basically what I do on vacation. Mm -hmm. So you want to sleep, sleep, and sleep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's everything that you want to do. Cool. It's an important thing. And you know what is really funny? When you have the opportunity to sleep, and when you say, I have the time, and I, you don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are in the bed like, <laughs> because you have, you have babies. And in, my, in my case, I don't have babies. No, but even, even when I didn't have the kid, even when I didn't have okay. the kid, I remember, <laughs> right? I remember that I was like, but I see where I dormir this year. I was watching TV there. It's like, I know that. <laughs> in the, in the pandemic, in the pandemic, mm -hmm. it was very difficult because as you were enclosed and you'd never uh, go out, you didn't even know what time it was. It was like, I just, just it's two in the morning, you say, whoosh. And then during the day, you were like falling asleep. It's, like <laughs> it's time to eat. It's time to eat, sleep, and oh, yeah. watch TV. That was the only mm -hmm. thing for, for COVID. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was very frustrating. <laughs> I don't want to go yeah. back. <laughs> yes. Good. Yeah. So let's see other plans that you have for vacations. Let's see. I have now, I have many people. I have Nancy, I have Josue, Carlitos, Ana Maritza, Mr. Luis, Sonia, Rosario, and Nancy Maldonado. Let's see. The male representation here. Josue, Alexander, what do you do on vacation as you are the young soul of the group? Josue, what do you do on vacation? He's sleeping already. Okay. 
Mr. Josué, Mr. Josué. Josué Alexander. Si lo ven por ahí, me lo mandan. He is buying pupusas, right? Yes. Sí, mamá de Josué, si está por ahí escuchándome, dígale que le estoy hablando. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Carlos Antonio, what do you do on vacations? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Disculpando porque no pude estar ayer en la clase, pero... Yes, we were missing. Ahora sí. <laughs> we were missing you. Uh, Next. Uh, I am uh, I uh, vacation on vacation and uh, and uh, 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 beach. Ah, you go to the beach. You say on yes. vacation I go to the beach, right? On vacation I go to the beach. On vacation I go to the beach. Good, very good. Yes, yes. That is what you do on your vacations. Good. Let's see, Mr. Luis, what do you do on your vacations? Good evening, teacher. Hello. <laughs> uh, on the vacation, I go to the beach with my family and, and visit my parents and my, and my home is to the English. More English. Ah, okay, good. You are going to study more English on your vacations. Good, very good. So you go and visit your parents, right? Parents, remember, parents. Parents. No, no parents. Okay. Parents. Parents. Very nice. Okay, thank you. Thanks to you for sharing. Okay, so that's basically on the activities that you are going to do next week. I am very glad that you are going to have the chance to do it. Please practice your English. That is the only thing that I am going to tell you. Practice your English as much as possible. Try to read something. Try to find a little book. I am going to send you some articles for you to read, for you to practice. So please don't forget me on your vacations. That's the only thing that I am going to tell you. No vayan a venir el 18. Ah, chis, sí me iba a conectar. Ah, no, hombre, no me acordaba. Por allá por el 24, ¿eh? <laughs> no, right? Remember me. Remember me, please. On your vacations. Good. So, we have been working and we have been studying different things about jobs, right? We have been studying different things about jobs, about a simple present. And we have also talked about activities that people do. Right, so we are going to reinforce a little bit on that topic to close it. And for that, let me share my screen with everybody. Welcome to the rest of people in the class, nice. It's very good to see you again. Here, I have here different types of jobs, right? And I have different places where people work. For example, I have office work, travel industry, food service and entertainment business. In this case, I have placed different jobs on the different categories. For example, an office work, it's a company director, right? A travel industry, it's a flight attendant. Food service, a server. And an entertainment business, a dancer. From the ones that I have on the list, which ones would you place in office work? Which one would you place in office work? A receptionist. A receptionist. A receptionist. Good. In office work. In which other category can you place a receptionist? Cashier. Ah, uh -huh. no, no, no. The question is, okay. in which other category can you place a receptionist? Travel industry. Oh, okay. A travel industry, right? In travel industry, you have also receptionists. Where? ¿Dónde encontraríamos recepcionistas en, el, en el, la industria de los viajes? In travel agency. In a travel agency. Where else? Thank you. Uh -huh. In a hotel. In a mm -hmm. restaurant. Right? In a hotel, for sure, you can find a, tra a receptionist because she's the one that is going to receive you, right, when you go yes. there. For office work, what other uh, category can you take out? 
A website designer. A website designer. Website. Yesterday we correct that one, right? Website designer. No me acuerdo quién se la corregía ayer. A website designer, right? It's office work. What else is for office work? Any other idea? Or maybe not from the ones that I have here, but give me more ideas for office work. A manager. A manager. Good. What else? Accountant. An accountant, right? An accountant is pure office work, right? Pure yeah. office work. In the travel industry, you have a receptionist. What else can you have in the travel industry? A pilot. pilot. A pilot. What else? Tour guide. A tour guide, right? A tour guide. What else? Website designer tour. Uh, well, in the travel industry, you can have a designer, a website designer, because you need it for the for the companies, right? A website designer, and also a, an interpreter. An interpreter is the person who is in charge of interacting with the visitors. In the food service area, what jobs might you list in the food service area? A chef. A chef. A cashier. What else? A waiter or a waitress? A musician. A musician. Good. A cashier. A cashier. I have it there, right? A musician. Very good in the food oh. service. Because they yeah. go and sing in the restaurant. Yeah. Tu como piedra preciosa. Por debajo de la mesa. Yeah. It's because I have a story with that song. I remember, <laughs> I remember one, one year, uh, many years ago, uh, I won a dinner at a restaurant. And they, they gave us this dinner for Valentine's, right? And we went with my husband. Well, it was my boyfriend in that time. And we went with my husband. And the thing is that they had this mariachi there and the, the trios and everything. And the only song that they knew was that one. Yeah. And it was tu como piedra preciosa. And then <laughs> hey, another one, another one. Tu como piedra. Oh. And it was the same song during the whole night. And it, was, and it was so frustrating because they only knew that one. That was the only song that they knew. So that's why I, I remember it. So the mariachis in the in the trios in the food service, yes, but the good ones, right? In the <laughs> entertainment business. Do we have a dancer? What else? A singer. A singer, right? A singer. Another one? A musician. A musician. We can have now that they are very famous. A clown <laughs> that they are called now party, party planners or something like that. Like party, uh, I don't know, party. I don't remember the word in English. But they are like entertainers, but the clowns, right? They use it now. And the, the magicians, mm -hmm. right? The magicians that are like, ta-da! The art? ¿Cómo se dice acrobat, teacher? Okay, in that case, well, it's the, I think it's the ac acrobat or something like that. Let me just make sure. It would be fun. It's like, how do you say acrobat in English? Acrobat. <laughs> <laughs> let me see. Yeah, it's very frustrating when, when that happens. But let me make sure. I have a friend who knows everything. His name is Mr. Google. Yeah. Mr. Dictionary. Find Google. Yes. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> it's good. Acrobat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was not, I was not uh, wrong an acrobat, right? 
There you go. Sorry for my anunciadora. There you go. My acrobat. Ese ruido que se oye es mi chush. There you go. Kaiser. Thank you. Esos ladridos son patrocinados por la Kiara. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. The acrobat. And in that case, you can have all the different types of jobs, right? In the different categories. If you can put your job in one of the categories that I have here, in which category will it be? Office work. Office work. Uh huh. In which category will you place your job? Uh, Evie says office work. In my case, office work. Office work. Rosemary? Yes. Office work too. Office work, Juan. Juan. Yeah. Very good. Juan, office work. Rosemary? Office work. Office work. Let's see, Rosario? Office work. Very good. Office work. Mr. Maximo? Food service. Food service. Good. What do you work at? Servicio de alimentos. No, but what, what is your job about? Uh, maintenance. Ah, maintain it. Yeah, it's true. I remember now. It's true. Hey. Logistic. Logistics and maintenance. Good. Food service. And Let's, project. And projects. Nice. A very complete thing. Nancy, what will be the category for your job? Office work. Office work. Sonia? Office work. Office work. Very good. So as you can see, there you can see the categories. I think my category, it's a little bit of office work, um, entertainment business, <laughs> uh, logistics, social work, people work. It's a little bit of everything. It's a very nice job. I, I really like it. Well, very nice. Thank you very much for the ones who provided the answer for this. I have here, a short example based on this, the same thing that we are doing. And I am going to work on this one first. It says, I am a security guard. I work in a department store and I guard the store at night. When we transform this one into third person, it says, he is a security guard. He works in a department store and he guards the store at night. It is the same paragraph, but in third person, right? As you can see, I have changed the different verbs, right? I work here. I have changed this one when it says I work, I guard, right? Because now I have, I work. he works and he guards. And what you are going to do is to work on the ones that I have right here. I have other sentences here. For this one, it says the first one, I am going to move it here and here. I work in a travel agency and take people on tours. I am a tour guide. How can you transform this one into third person? She. She, she works. She works. works. She works. Yeah. Travel agency. Travel agency. Agency. agency or agency? Agency. 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 Ah, she works in a travel agency. And take people and takes. on tours. Take and, people. People. and takes. Very good. People and takes on tours. People on tours. He's a She's tour a guide. guide. He or she? She is. She is. A, she. She She's. is a tour guide. Very good. She. She is a tour she. guide. She is a tour guide because we started the sentence with she. She works in a travel agency and takes people on tours. She is a tour guide. What about the next one? I work in an office. I am a word processor. I like computers a lot. He works. He works in, a, in an office. He works in an, he works office. In an, an office. office. 
in an office. He, he, is, is, he is a word processor. He is a word processor. A word processor. He likes, he likes, he likes computer, computer a lot. A lot. He likes. Very good. He likes computers a lot. Computers a lot. Computers a lot. A lot. Very good. Now we are going to go here and work on the next one. The next one that I have is. Okay, <laughs> we love the chamber, right? You were like, I don't know, no me enteré del final. Ah. I am a disc jockey. I work in a nightclub. I play music. She? She, she is work. She, she is a disc jockey. She is a disc jockey. She is a disc jockey. Okay. She works in a nightclub. Ah, no. She, 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 she works. She works. She works in a nightclub. <laughs> okay, I am going to explain in a, in a moment about this. She works in a nightclub. She plays, plays, plays music. <laughs> I imagine that you were going to say that. A nightclub, <laughs> a nightclub in English is not the nightclub like that, that it's you like know. A it's a discotheque. Right, yeah. it's a discotheque, and you were like, oh, yo creo eso trabajo. Oh, no, 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 We are not receiving anything from this commercial. <laughs> <laughs> so, the nightclub in English is a place where you can go dancing with your friends. Here in El Salvador is another idea <laughs> también, también dance. También. <laughs> Tell me. How, how do you know that? La esposa ha entrado al grupo. <laughs> uh -huh. Yo solo oigo la risa de Máximo. <laughs> Estoy callado. Lo oigo la risa de Máximo. Creo él, le que da ya sabe. él le da mantenimiento a la cocina. <risa> a los That way. Ok. So, so, in the case of this one, the nightclub is a discotheque, right? It's a discotheque. It is very common in English, this work, right? And it is not because they go to these places. In El Salvador, we have a very wrong conception about these words. Also about the words, the words hostal and motel, right? Yeah. In the United States, these ones are hotels that are very cheap for visitors and travelers. But here in El Salvador, it's another idea. So <laughs> that I am not going to go in details for that. But in the United States and in other countries, it is a good option for travelers. Right here, yeah, you know. Let's continue with the class. <laughs> yeah, Luis, you know, you know. Luis conoce, Luis conoce. <laughs> Luis? Nos hemos quedado en la luna con esa explicación. I don't know. Ah, I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. sí, es mi primera <laughs> vez. The vocabulary. The vocabulary. The vocabulary. The vocabulary. The vocabulary. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I believe yes. that from Josué Alexander, that is very young. But from all the rest, I don't think so. <laughs> Thanks, Max. <laughs> okay, my dear students. So now you know the, the different ideas. Now you know the different ideas of how to report what a person does and where a person works. So now I am going to go and send you with a friend to work. And I need you to come back with this information for me. You are going to work with someone and you are going to ask and talk about the things that you do, the place where you work and all this. Because when you come back to the class, you are going to have like two or three minutes. And when you come back to the class, you are going to say, imagine that I work with Evie. And I say, well, she's Evie, she's an accountant, she works a lot with numbers, she uh, does a lot of office work, she answers phone calls, she works with papers, and she does many things. And Evie is going to say, 
Yeah, something like that. And Eva is going to say, she's Nati, she's a teacher, she, she teaches English, she speaks a lot, she works with students, she has to check a lot of exams. And she's talkative. And she's very talkative, right? She talks a lot. <laughs> so that's very good. So those are the things, but in third person, okay? And say so like, she's talkative, so like she talks a lot with students. So go with your friend, get the information and we're going to come back and report about the other person not about you you're going to tell me about the other person okay let's see let's go to the groups right now i have couples 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 okay i'm going to do only eight and here we go okay i'm going to add her here it's only one group with three members okay go ahead the other ones are in couples accept my invitation and go and meet and greet and bring me the information go ahead chop chop Thank you, Emperatriz and Elizabeth. Hello. Sorry, Miss. Acabo de llegar y necesito echarme agua porque vengo de la clínica y estuve en el hospital temprano. Yeah, I was, I, was reading. I, was reading, I was reading your message. Go and clean up yourself. And when you will finish, maybe you can join uh, the last minutes of the class. Go ahead. Gracias. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. Emperatriz, did you receive the invitation to join the group? Because Juancito is alone. Emperatriz, I am going to move Juan. Hello. Hola. Hola, Emperatriz, recibió mi invitación para unirse al grupo. Eh, sí, es que fíjese que voy saliendo, bueno, voy saliendo de la oficina y me conecté y voy en tránsito. Y no, ah, ok, ok, so don't worry. Sí, no, no puedo ver ahí el, la... Ok, no worry, don't worry, don't worry. So I am going to go and check the groups, ok? So I am going uh, to come okay. back in a moment. Ya vuelvo, voy a ir a ver a los grupos, ok? Thank you. Ok, um... Your schedule is to 8 uh, a.m. to 6 p.m. 8 to 6 p.m. 8, 8 a.m. To, to 6 p.m. Okay. Um, I, I develop... Develop... Project. I develop... Pro, no, uh, and I developed... Oh. Pro product, food product. Food. Product. Product. Okay, uh, you are an electric machine? No, I am. Electric ele engineer. Electronic engin engineer. Oh, oh, perdón, electronic. Engineer. Engineer. Yeah. If you say that he is an electric machine, he's a robot. <laughs> Oh, sí, muy grande. <laughs> he, he's an electronic engineer. But sí. it's, it's good, Damaris. <laughs> sí. I am a robot, too. <laughs> okay. Continue working. <laughs> Continue working. Eh, en una imprenta. Sí. Uh, Teacher. Hi, how are you? Uh -huh. I am ¿Qué here. Es, ¿Qué es lo que más hace en imprenta? 
Mi bueno, era como que una yo... descripción de lo que hacemos en el trabajo, algo así como una descripción, ¿verdad? Yes. Ah, ok. <risa> yes. <risa> yes. Teacher, a mí me cuesta bastante el inglés. Uh, I know, but you have to try, Rosario. Man, you have improved a lot. Ha mejorado un montón. Así que no, no, no way back. I mean, just, just uh, Go ahead, go ahead. Lo que pasa es que para, para decir mi, mi descripción, no puedo, teacher. Ah, but in that case, because it's very difficult, right? But eh, for the rest of things, it's like, it's very normal. Y but, es para decir... Si uh -huh. yo digo Rosario, trabaja en una imprenta, así yo describo lo que ella me está contando, es como Rosario works in a printing company, trabaja en una imprenta. In a printing company, printing uh, company. Printing. Yes. Uh, okay. Or you can say a printing press company. Rosario works in a printing. Printing. Press? No, printing, printing. como impresora. Printing, printing press. Printing press. Press company. company. Yeah. Ah, okay. Rosario works in a printing press company, you say. Okay. Eh, teacher, para decir, soy operaria, es I am an operator, no. I am a machine operator. 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 Right, I am a machine operator. Eh, para decir, eh, compaginadora, empasadora. Uh, that's that's the one that I was like. <laughs> so you can say I build up. Let me see. Um, that's the the one that I need. Let me see. But compaginar is very difficult. Ah, a book packer. So book you say packer. I am a book packer. Uh, book? book packer. Book. Packer, it's empastadora. Ah, okay. A, a book packer. A book packer because you create the pages and the, the covers, right? That's a very hard work. My goodness. So, lo que dice hacer en todo, teacher, eh, compaginar, empastar, eh, trabajo de revisar libros, de fajar, de oh empacar, de troquelar y todo eso. Sí. Yeah, I, I, I used to work on that one. Well, my, my, my husband and my brother-in-law have a printing press and they work on those things of paper and all that. But it's a lot of work. Okay, I am going to check on the other groups and let's see, we are about to go back. Okay, ya no vamos a ir, apúrense. Let's call it, call it. Okay. Hello, Bill. Bill, my you are alone. ¿Con quién estaba, Vilma? Hello. Con Nancy, teacher. Ah, ahorita la traigo de regreso. <ríe> es que quedó como en cámara lenta y se salió. Ok, let me see. Ok, okay. Let, let me see. I am going to bring her back to this group. Let's see, room three. Ok. I am going to bring her back. There she is. And here she comes. I think she has problems with the connection because of the weather. Mm -hmm. So she's here. Vamos a hablar acerca de... About the other person's job. The other person, okay. Hello, Nancy, welcome back. <laughs> there you go. Okay, ya las dejo juntas de nuevo. Nancy, okay, hello. Hello, teacher. Tuve problemas con el dispositivo, como que me quedó sin batería y me tuve que conectar desde el teléfono. It's okay, it's okay. Now, continue working with Vilma. Okay, las dejo. <laughs> bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Logistic department. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, I, uh, she, I made costos. Customs. Constance. I work. I uh -huh, yeah. I work with Constance. customs. 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 Yeah. Customs. Aduana. 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 <laughs> Aduana. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. She works with customs. Uh -huh. I imagine that you have a very complicated job. 
Why? <laughs> because fighting, fighting with products and things that are coming and going, and the containers and all these things. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, but 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 you know, um, this week I I be promote. How do you say? I will be promo promoted. Yeah. I was yeah. promoted. Uh, in this yeah. week, if it happens, say I was promoted. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So in this week, I was promoted from another. Okay. From Congratulations. Another Thank you. I'm so excited and I'm so nervous for that. I imagine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm so scared too. I have a big work brings a big responsibility. Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spider-Man said yeah. it. I didn't say it. Okay, my dear students, continue. Yeah. I think you are about to finish. Continue, please. Okay, thank you. Did you finish? Usted and me, yes, uh -huh. Nancy. Um, uh, work uh, in office. So you say she is Nancy. Is she? She, she is Nancy. She's she Nancy. works in an office. She's she works in office. She works in an office, right? She works in an office. Uh huh. What else? What else? Give me more information. Ya no note las cosas de ella. Come on, come on. Nancy, <laughs> do you have the information about Ana Maria? Okay, I work in an office. She she works in an office. What is about uh, you? Uh, no, about Maritza. Ana Maria. Uh, Ana Maritza. Ana Maria. Oh, Ana God, Maritza. Maritza. She, she's Maritza. She's in an office. Uh, she's registered document and files document and received correspondence. Correspondence. So you, she receives mail. Uh, she received mail. She receives, right? Receives, receives registers, works, right? Remember uh, the third person. She works in the Consejo Superior de Salud Pública. Oh, she works in the health area, right? She works in the health area. So you can say just like in the administrative area of the Ministry okay. of Health, in the administrative area of the Ministry of Health. In the area administrative del, uh, del Ministerio de Salud. Good. Minister of Health. Minister of Health. Health. H-E-A-L-T-H. -E health. Health. Okay, so you have the information about Nancy. Ana Maritza, uh, uh, right? You have the information about Ana Maritza, but Ana Maritza, get the information from Nancy because we are going to finish right now. Vamos, Ana Maritza, saque la información ya de Nancy. <laughs> we are about to finish. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Vamos. Nada más por lo de descanso. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Arnold. Ajá, Hello, ya veo, aquí estaba echándome la We remember you. Ajá, you. Ajá yes. <laughs> okay, did you finish? Estamos, está, está, sí, yes. ¿Estábamos yes. qué? Estábamos discutiendo la, los términos que nos, nos explicó ahí los de the country, the travel. In their in ter los, los tipos person. de hotel. <laughs> so you finish. Let's go then. Hi, <laughs> my dear students, my dear students. <laughs> Let's go back then. <laughs> Let's go back. <laughs> Mm, 
Welcome back. Welcome back. My students, they were discussing other things in the groups, huh? I check on some of you and you were discussing other situations there. Okay. So, I am going to get three couples, three couples. And you are going to give me the numbers of the couples. Huh. <laughs> if you remember your group, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me see. I am going to wait for the rest of people to come and we're going to make the raffle. Okay, I am going to make the raffle of the groups who is going to pass and who is going to speak. Okay, welcome back, welcome back. Everybody's here. Everybody's here. Now, let me see. Miss Sonia Araceli, give me one number from one to 10. Um, Juan? One. Juan. No, no. <laughs> Straight from this. Aquí, aquí el machetazo de un solo. Es que cogerlo. Juan, thank you. Tell me about your partner. <laughs> thank you, Sonia. Nos evitamos la rifa. Sonia. Juan. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, she is a receptionist. She Who? work in uh, Sonia. Ah, okay. Sonia, <laughs> Sonia. So you say Sonia. Uh -huh. She okay, Sonia. She is a receptionist and credit manager too. Uh, oh, she is a credit manager and she has a a control of all credit. She has control. She has control. Of yeah. all credits. All right? credit. Nice. Todos agregando a Sonia ahorita. <laughs> 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 okay, good. Thank you very much. Now, okay. Juan, give me the name of another person in this group for him or her to talk. Go um, ahead. Choose Vilma. A... Okay, Vilma. <laughs> Vilma, tell me about your friend. I do. Uh, <laughs> I, I Nancy and I, we, we talk about Susie. Susie huh? is um, her worker. A hair worker? Yes. Ah, she's a hairdresser. Uh, a dresser. Uh, or a I hair. Is, hair she works in the same, the same work with Nancy. I think. Oh. But she is Susie. She works in Consejo Superior de Salud ah, so Pública. Not even yes. similar. <laughs> she makes inspection in different areas. Uh -huh. <laughs> Only that. Yeah. Okay. She makes inspections. So she's yeah. kind of an auditor. Uh huh. Yes. Similar. Mm -hmm. Okay. When I said like she's a hair worker, and I was like, she's a hair worker. I mean, she works with hair. I said. She's like a hairdresser or a stylist. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> About hair job, right? Hair uh, job. Yes. No, because uh, uh, Susie and Nancy uh, works together. They work? Maybe. Mm -hmm. they together. Work together. Good. They work Very good. together. Mm -hmm. No, they work. Work together. Uh -huh. They work? No. They yes, work I together. I put the S. Yeah, without no. S. <laughs> without the S. Okay, yes. Vilma, give me the name of another member of the class. Mm. Rosario. Rosario, tell me about your friend. Uh, Rosemary is a secretary who works in an office and um, occasion cashier assistant. Okay, and Sometimes you say, and sometimes she is. Sometimes she is. A, Rosemary. A, Rosemary is a secretary. Uh huh. A, who work in an office. Uh huh. And on occasion. 
and sometimes, no decimos en occasions, and, some, uh, and sometimes, and sometimes, cashier assistant. And sometimes she is a cashier, a cashier assistant. assistant. Very good job. I got my three volunteers of the night. Very good job. Thank you. You survived. Thank you, Juan. And you see, the funny thing is that Sonia is right next to you. En las cámaras de todos, Sonia está justo a la par suya. El, en, el enemigo estaba a la par. <risa> Sonia. No, teacher, realmente le entendí mal. Pensé que me preguntaba que quién había sido mi compañero. No oh, fue no. mi intención hacerlo participar primero. No, but that's good. Juan wanted to participate. He was like, me, me, teacher, me, me. Yeah, good Lo like. siento, Juan. He, he loves to do it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Ok. Oh, Thank God. you, my dear students. Thank you very much for sharing the information. I was visiting the different groups and I was listening to your stories, okay? So we're going to finish uh, this part of the practice with a little bit of grammar. And in this case, it is important, for example, when you are creating sentences to give complete ideas, right? In some cases, we eat the words, we eat the letters, right? But it's not the idea of English, right? The idea of English is that you provide complete messages, right? Ah, I made a mistake. It was not like that. It was this one. Okay. So the articles A and N, right? We use them before a consonant sounds and before a vowel, right? It is, this is something basic that we learned woo, a lot of months ago. Don't use our N with plurals, please. If you are going to talk about plural things, don't say they are a, car a carpenters. No, right. ellos son un carpinteros, no. They are a expensive carpenters, no. A expensive architects, no. Don't use A or N in the plural forms. So in this case, freshing up a little bit here, you have to remember, that we don't use them in that form. And we are going to complete this paragraph that I have here. And it says, he is a carpenter. He works for a construction company. In the next sentence, do we need a or an in any of the spaces? She worked for a travel company. He works for a travel company, right? In a room, a range. How do you say a range? Arranges. 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 Oh. What is the meaning of arranges? Organiza. Oh. And arranges tours. In which other sentence do you need our N? She's a travel She's a travel agent, right? She's a travel agent. He has a, an, an. an. Ah, very good an. job. He has an interesting job, right? In this case, you need an. Oh, yeah, I am very bad at writing with the mouse. An interesting job. And? He is a, a teacher. He is a teacher, right? In this case, only the, uh, he's, an, he's a teacher. He works in high school. He works in, in a high a. school, right? He works in a high school. That is the process of the use of the words here. You have to be very careful. In this case, for example, you don't say, he builds high schools in hospitals. No, because here you have a plural form. So in this case, you have plural here and plural here. So you don't use a or an in this case, okay? Very good job. You survive to the practice. That was a very simple thing for all of you. Let me see on this one. I think I am going to jump a little bit on the reading part. Let me just stop sharing this one. And we're going to finish in these nine minutes that we have with a reading. Okay. We are going to practice a little bit of reading to finish this topic. And chen, 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 we're going to finish with this section two. And tomorrow we're going to start with section number three, that it's the last one before vacation. And 
on that one, we are going to work on demonstratives, right? We're going to work on demonstratives, likes and dislikes. We're going to review a bit of colors, right? It's, a, it's a, a very nice unit. In this section, I think for intermediate one, it's a refresh of all the different topics that you have had before. And it is useful because uh, you refresh, right? You refresh all the knowledge that you have gotten before. And we're going to continue here with these three friends. Let me show them to you. Okay, okay. Here we go. I have here Teresa Glass, Kering Thomas, and Lamar Andrews. I need you to check on the different vocabulary that I have here and tell me if you have new words or new vocabulary. Ush. Let me see. There you go. Tell me if you have new words or new vocabulary. If you have it, let me know and I'm going to mark it. Allo. Expensive, okay, and where is it? Teresa, Karen, or Lamar? Teresa. 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 Which one is it? Expensive. Ah, expensive. Yeah, expensive. Here. What is the other one? La en la mar esta esta palabra allowances así se quita este ah, escrito allowances allowance allowance and allowance, allowance. okay I'm going to explain allowance. it to you allowance good any other one no all of all of the rest of words are very common for you in this case expensive is the opposite of cheap do you know the meaning of cheap Cheap is like Marito Rivera, yes. right? The Barato. Phone. Barato. <laughs> Barato, right? If you, know, if you know Marito Rivera, you have, you know what cheap is, right? Cheap, I can sell my heart, cheap. In English, Barato. <laughs> ya, no, ya no van a escuchar a Marito Rivera de la misma manera. <laughs> cheap, cheap. There you go. Si no han escuchado barato de Marito Rivera, no, le falta infancia todavía. That's the meaning. Expensive is the opposite of cheap, right? If cheap is barato, expensive is? Claro. Claro. Like avocado, right? Avocado. Right. Póngale aguacate, sí. Avocado. Expensive. I have a heart cheap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see? <laughs> Definitely. Barato. Allowance, allowance is when, you're, when your parents give you money for you to do something. When they give you the money for you to pay the school, the university, the things that you want, and everything, right? Yes? Exactly. When they say like, ah, oh, daddy, I need $10, 20. <laughs> but when you, have, when you don't have allowance from your parents, <laughs> Sorry, you don't have any money, right? Allowance is como mantenimiento, mesa, dinero from your parents, right? So, Teresa Glass, I am going to ask Vilma to help me reading Teresa. Go ahead. Okay. I don't have time to work, but I need a job because college is very expensive. I study art. I have class all day on Monday. Wednesday on, and Friday. And on Tuesday and Thursday morning, I usually study on weekends. I don't have any experience, but I can learn quick. Okay, very good job. Thank you, Vilma. Yeah, reactions for Vilma. Thank you for reading. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. Expensive. Expensive. Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesday. Yeah, I know, I know. Tuesday and Thursday. Thursday. 
Thursday. Okay, Thursday. Tu, 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 tu. Remember, Tuesday. Tuesday and, and Thursday. 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 Good. Oh Experience. <laughs> so you have expensive experience mm -hmm. right it's the same experience. sound mm -hmm. experience and quickly the next one Kerin Thomas is going to be in charge of Maximo go ahead my husband and I have a new baby he makes a good salary but we don't save very much money we want to save some money to buy a house I take care of the baby so I need a job I can do at home. I know how to type and I have a computer. Very good job. I know how to type and I have a computer. I don't have any comment on pronunciation. Very nice job, Mr. Maximo. And the last one is going to be in charge of Mr. Arnoldo. Lamar Andrews. Okay. <clears throat> I am 16. 16 now and I don't get an allowance from my parents parents anymore. parents anymore I need to earn some money because I like to go out on the weekend with my friends with with, with. I go to school every day with with my friends, I go to a school every day from um, 9 a.m. am to 3.30 p.m. 3.30. Okay. 3.30. 3.30. No, you say 3? 3? Okay, no, not 3. No, you say 3. 3.30. 30. There you go. Continue. PM, my father owns a restaurant, so I know a little about restaurant work. Very good job. Okay. This is Thanks. something you might you might say, like, no, but those are very common words, right? Those are very common things, right? The pronunciation of three. It's three. different from three. A lemon tree, it's good, it's un árbol, right? But if you say okay. three, it's the number, right? Three, three. Good, okay. very good, very good. Thanks. Don't say three. Thanks, you should. Three. Don't worry. In the case of uh, Theresa Glass, what do you think a good job for her will be? She is in college, she knows art, and she has a lot of classes. What job would you recommend for Teresa? Uh -huh. What job would you give her? In the museum. In a museum, right? She can work in a museum, at a museum. Any other job that you could offer her? Si llegara a pedirles trabajo y ustedes le pudieran dar cualquier trabajo, which one will it be? In the theater. In the theater, in a museum. Good. What about Kerin Thomas? She wants to work at home. What job could you give her? She uh, wants to make money at home. And uh -huh. Redactor. Okay, she can be a typer, right? She can be a typer or a writer because she knows how to type and she has a computer. Good. In which other job do you think she, she could make it? in a call center, right? In a chat, in a call center with chat because she can type very fast. And what about Lamar? Lamar Andrews, what type of job would you give him? At food service. 
At food service, right? He can work at food service. Another job that he might have. He needs money, a lot of money to go dancing. He likes to go out on the weekend. In a car wash. <laughs> what? Nightclub. Night In a night as a this jockey. <laughs> as a parker, uh, parking the cars, right? He will be the parking ballet. He can be in a supermarket. He can work in a supermarket too. Because a cashier. A cashier. Cashier. No, but he's, he's 16 years old. <laughs> one for the supermarket, one for me. <laughs> for the supermarket, one for. How do you say, Mr. A waiter. 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 A waiter. waiter. Waitress is a, a lady. Okay. <laughs> in the supermarket. I need this money <laughs> for my house. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> No, maybe Lamar, he can he can be uh, a waiter, he can work in the food service, right? He can work in, in a fast food restaurant, right? He can do many things. Well, my dear students, time flies when you're having fun, definitely. Uh, I'm going to see you tomorrow for the last class of the week. And remember that the next week we are having vacations, so you are going to have a lot of homework. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Teacher, I no, not teacher, por favor. <laughs> in vacation, I am going to see you tomorrow for your next class. Thank you. Tomorrow. Have a beautiful Bye. night. Bye, teacher. 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 Bye, teacher.